Today, lads, I will be showing you the first set of custom tactics I have created for FC25. Lads. It is the 4 triple 2. It attacks in a 3 5 2, defends in that 4 triple 2. Ridiculous starts the game, lads. Let's get into it. So, diving in with the tactics, lads. And at the end of the video, lads, I will just be code up on the screen just so you can drag and drop these tactics. They will be going up on the YouTube shorts as well. So, if you want those quick codes, make sure you look at those shorts feeds because they will be having those codes as well. Um, so, 4 triple 2, lads. Um, the build-up style we just leave on balanced again at the start of the game we're not trying to do too, something too crazy there are a lot of options that we've played with but i think balance for the moment is nice and then defensive approach we've adjusted it to 60 just so it's a little bit more above what you get as a standard which is 50 and it helps push you out of the box i am going to start experimenting with higher depths but 60 for the starting point especially when you know you're learning the game it is nice lads so diving into these player roles and this has been the biggest adjustment of the game lads um so goalkeeper we we were unlucky to get howard but he's okay he's goalkeeper plus plus and we just have him on balance we don't have him on sweeper or, or defend or any of this um, we just have him on um, balance focus um he will come out and claim those loose balls and he's goalkeeper plus plus um, I just recommend whatever your goalkeeper has in a plus role, just whack it on him, lads. Um, plus plus for Howard. He is pretty decent. He's not amazing, but what goalkeeper that is. Um, the two centre backs, lads. Um, this year we are touching our centre backs, believe it or not. Um, our first one, our right centre back, is just on focus, defend, roll, defender. Um, I think Abanez is a ball playing defender, even though he's got 60 dribbling. I weren't a massive fan of that. We just have him on defender, and he's just basically going to be our out and out. I, I like this person to be my fastest defender. He's almost going to be there as the last line of defense sometimes. Um, I'll show you the way um the team looks when we're when we're attacking, well, when we switch the view later on. Uh, the other center back is a stopper. Um again, lads, there are plenty of um center backs with stopper plus. I think there's probably a few out there with stopper plus plus. Tadebo, probably a lot of you guys are using him. Stopper in this position on Tadebo is nice. And then just, yeah, you can't change the focus. Just balance, lads. Um, right back, I've got it. Defend and just full back. So you want to have someone that is very, very good at the defending role because this is going to attack in a 3-5-2. And it's great with Kunde because I can actually use three back formations and, and he won't get punished because he's got the centre back um, alternate position as well. Uh, fullback plus plus on him he is phenomenal if you can get fullback plus in this position lads it is nice um but if if not just fullback you want one staying back um but i recommend having someone a bit more physical a bit more of a more like a center back more like a nimble center back in this position and then our left back is balanced and wing back plus which is the balde which we did the evo for um he's got a whole host of uh play styles we did use um rolfo on a wing uh, on attacking wing back should the plus plus but his this stamina just gets absolutely massacred so wing back is nice for this they'll get forward they'll 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 be a bit more smart for when they get forward whereas attacking fullback is just mental they get forward no matter what um patrick guiharo our left cdm is a deep line playmaker plus um and just focus on defend um for this player lads i like to have someone that is a bit more of a provider so patry has got the long ball plus one of the few cards that already have it as a base card she is phenomenal i love long ball plus lads but if you've got base long ball in this position it is massively helpful lads um but you want them to be good at everything defending attacking patry is perfect and there's a few cards that can do that and then our other cdm is more of an out and out cdm we're doing an evo kessie lads and it's just defend holding um, you want a physical presence, but you want them to be, you know, that holding midfielder that breaks up the play for you. Um, I used uh, Declan Rice. He's a bit slow, but it, he's holding plus plus. And you can tell by the roles, the way they act in game. Insane, lads. Uh, moving on to our first cam um, is on the Shadow Striker. So we'll almost play like a um, like a center cam. I'll show you the, um, the with the ball in a second. Um, but Shadow Striker, he's got Shadow Striker Plus. So he's going to play just in behind the striker. Again, lads, my forwards are quite weak. Um, I'm in Division 5, almost in Division 4. And Rocky and Fatty are being st stretched and Pina, to be fair. 
Um, but this this guy comes more inside because we've got Balde getting forward. Um, it allows Fatty to come inside and be more like that link between defense and attack. I recommend you have some of the compats in this position, lads, because that is really nice. And then the other cam is on half winger because Kunde is staying back. It, it does lack a bit of width on this side. Um, when you, if you were to have, like, I tried, like, um, what was the other one? It was, um, I tried Playmaker, but she was too far inside, so there was no width on the right-hand side, so we changed it to uh, half a winger, and then she creates the width on that left-hand side. I do recommend for this position, lads, you have lots of pace and, you know, good passing play styles. Again, this, she doesn't have any of the plus roles for this, but I just needed her to do a particular role into creating the width on this side. And then one of our strikers is uh, Vito Roque, 76 rated on poacher and focus attack. Um, he's just going to be in there scoring us goals. As you'll see from like the clips that we are putting up on the screen, I was using Jokerez, who is a phenomenal card for about 10k. I think we paid for him. He is ridiculous. Um, I'm just hoping to Evo this Roque. And then our final forward is uh, Sal, Salma Paruello, who is on focused on being the advanced forward, which, as you can see, she'll kind of drift in that in that kind of left-hand side area, but is always there to score goals, as you can see from the clips. And then the focus is on attack. And then as for the view, this is how your team will attack. Um, so essentially, it's a pretty much you're attacking in a 3-5-2. Your defensive fullback will come inside. So that's why I said having like that kind of uh, centre-back center back in that role, like a Kunde, is really, really, really nice. Um, so he'll drift inside. So we create this three-back while we're um, while we're attacking. You've got Kessie, which holds the midfield. Patry, who just kind of they're slinging passes. Pina creating that width on that right-hand side. I love this view, by the way, lads. It allows me to explain how the formation works much better to you guys. Um, uh, Pina is then creating the width on that right-hand side. Balde is getting forward, creating the width on the left. Fatty is linking everything together in that cam position. Then you have the two strikers and real lads. Um, took a while to get this one out because we I wanted to make sure it was perfect for you guys. Um, and I will leave that code on the screen. Waffle for a little bit longer. Just pause the video. Code is at the top of the screen. I will also post the the code in the uh, in the description as well, so you can um, so you can just copy and drop that. But leave in the comments what formations you want to see next, and leave your codes with the formation it is in the comments, and I'll give them a try. And if they are good, you'll make the channel, lads.